I'd like to welcome the next group to the stage. For too long, their cultures were not practiced due to outside, outsiders misunderstanding and even harshly judging cultural traditions. The effects of banning their practices were detrimental to their people, and those effects were long reaching. In Sitka, they were fortunate that elders such as Charlie Joseph Sr. preserved so many of their songs and dances that they took care of each other and took each other's the proper way, to, taught each other the proper ways to sing and dance them. They have come a long way into in continuing to preserve these traditions of song and dance and have also come to realize that gathering and practicing their culture is a healthy and, healthy and healing way to spend their time together. They work hard to present their songs and dances as traditionally as they were taught, while also realizing to have fun. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Shitka Kwan dancers.
Gunarchish. We are the Sheet Kakwan dancers. The outside song that we used is called Kawut Ashi, and it belongs to the Kix Eddy clan. The entrance song is a new song that was made by myself and Lakrisha Johnson. I don't know if anyone remembers, but for the last several years, the Get Home <coughs> Simshian dancers have been challenging people to make new songs to keep our culture growing as well as preserving our old songs. We will be doing a total of three new songs for you today that have never been performed for an audience before. <laughs> Our group has been practicing them faithfully for the last year. As for the traditional songs that we will be doing today that remain in Shitka, it's important to note that it was through the work of the late Charlie Joseph Sr., as well as the other elders who stepped up at the beginnings of the Sitka Native Education Program. Elders such as Annie Joseph, Mary Marks, Mary Perkins, Lizzie Basco, Annie Dick, and Esther Littlefield who freely shared their knowledge with the young people. And it is because of them that we have so many of our traditional songs left. In addition, much credit is due and gratitude to the instructors of the Sitka Native Education Program who devoted so much of their lives to our youth. Elders such as Dasta Yaw, who we have here in the front. as well as Keith Tla, Ann Johnson. Kauduk Eight Tla, the late Vida Davis. As well as Puss Ean, the late Alice Williams. For our next song, we will perform Old Sitka, also known as Icht Ishan. It is a men's dance song, and it is among the first songs that was taught to the young people of the Gajahin dancers when the Sitka Native Education Program was first begun in 1974. Gunuchish to the Chukunedi clan for the continued use of this song.
Before we do our ladies song, we'd like to take a moment to talk about two of the headdresses that our young men are wearing. If they'll please come forward, Julio and Pedro. A little over a year ago, our Nakahiti dancers, which is another dance group that we have in Sitka that dances for the tourists in the summer, were asked by the family of the late Terry Rothkar, the master raven's tail weaver, if they would do a performance that showcased all of the different robes that Terry had woven that are still in Sitka. And so we opened it to the public and for admission, we asked for donations, which we were wanting to give to the family for their expenses of coming up from the lower 48 to say their final goodbyes to Terry, to scatter her ashes. And they did not accept the gift and instead gave it back to the Nakahiti dancers. And we didn't want to just take that beautiful donation and that gesture and put it in a travel fund. And so what we did was we wanted to have a lasting memorial to Terry. And so we had these frontlets carved by Doug Gray, who was also here on stage. <laughs> and the headdresses themselves were assembled by Larry Garrity, who was also here on stage. <laughs> The next song that we're going to do is a ladies' song, and we say, we're not doing it just as it is supposed to be done. It traditionally goes with our Schlinget series, but we wanted to be able to do this song in honor and in memory of one of our former dance group members who we lost this past year, Alice Taitel, of the Ganach Teidi clan. She was a tireless worker, who never let physical pain stop her from doing the things that she wanted to do or the things that needed to be done. And we would all be blessed to have such a hardworking spirit such as she possessed. Her passing was a great loss to the dance groups of Shitka. And in her memory, we'll sing the song of her clan called Sakuye that belongs to the Ganach Teidi. And due to losses that they've had even more recently, we will not complete the song.
Our second, our second men's dance song that we'll be doing is dedicated to the memory of one of the two founders of this group. She devoted countless hours to the Alaska Native Sisterhood Camp 4 and also to the Presbyterian Church, in addition to our Sheet Kakwan dancers. However, this song is in her memory for the contributions that she made to the Sitka Native Education Program. Growing up without knowledge of our Tlingit language and culture herself, she had a vision to ensure that her children and grandchildren, as well as future generations, would be able to learn our Tlingit culture. And so she found the federal grants to begin SNAP, where she enlisted the elders who knew our culture to share the wealth of knowledge that they had with the first Gajahin dancers and subsequently other generations of dance groups to come. The song was composed by myself, and it is called Yedi Kuk A Et Shiyi, and it is a song for Yedi Kuk A. The words to the song say, our lifestyle was floating away from us. It almost floated all the way away. Grandparent, you gave us strength. Now our voices are strong with their songs. Their voices still echo around us. Gunachish to Dastia Ethel Mackinnon and Ann Johnson for providing the Slinga translation for these words that we wanted to say about her and the message that we wanted to convey and dedicate to her memory. Our mentor and pillar.
whenever, whenever we'd perform, we'd have stuff planned out and then grandma would whisper in my ear and she'd say, don't forget, and then now my mom, who wasn't able to come with us to celebration, is the one who's always saying, don't, for, don't forget. And I thought I was off the hook, but my uncle's still here who pulled me over and says, don't forget. <laughs> I always gotta have some Brady harassing me. <laughs> we would like to acknowledge those who are sitting here on the side with us, um, whether they're singing or just supporting us. We have with us longtime members Ralph Brady and Pat Alexander. As well as former member Tommy Rooney. And we're also privileged to have Jimmy George, Gahwe, and Joni Diedrichson Lewis of the Deshitan clan. We also have with us Lou Knapp, who is sitting on the side in place of her mother, Carol Brady, who always sat with us and supported us, who, who was uh, our relative and, and who always gave her support. And to show our support to her in her time of loss, we have, we have put uh, my mother's robe on her that was a gift from the Dakh Awadi to give her strength. We would like to thank the Sitka Tribe of Alaska and also Shiatika Incorporated for their generous support. And we'd like to say gunas to you all for being a gracious and enthusiastic audience. It makes our work that we've done fundraising for two years and practicing for the last year all worth it. And so for our exit song, we will be doing the Sheet Kwan exit song, which is the third and final of the new songs that we are debuting for you here today. Gunach Chish. Thank you. 